Hi, my name is uh, I, uh, I.K. and uh, this is uh, a channel or this is a playlist, uh, uh, my playlist, uh, learn English pronouncement, learn English pronouncing with I.K. Today I was uh, I was uh, to see, to try hearing device, help hearing device in uh, company Bontech. There is a two place, uh, two location in, in Split. You, you can uh, make a test for yourself and uh, I'm very, very surprised with uh, excellent results. Uh, my hearing uh, is... Uh, my hearing deviance is uh, like that. At first, till uh, 1000 Hz, I have uh, excellent normal uh, hearing possibility. And after that I have uh, linear uh, in uh, angle of uh, 45, linear down, uh, linea, li, uh, linear down uh, with decibel, more and more decibel I need uh, to hear that higher frequency. Uh, and uh, I tried that smart device uh, uh, for every ear you have one small uh, gadget uh, behind ear and uh, some part go in channel of ear and this is connected with uh, iPhone wireless connected with iPhone programs application and it is excellent result for example I I, I, I hear excellent before my teacher's AJ Hodge. Now I hear him better, a lot of better. But uh, what I interested most is about CNN. When I hear CNN from YouTube, sit down and uh, listening, it is something unbelievable. I hear all. I hear all what that speaker uh, uh, spoke before without that device in my ear. I don't hear. I hear only part of the word and uh, I can hear all word. Now with that uh, device I hear all word and, and I completely understand what they, uh, what CNN uh, spoke. Because uh, it is because uh, I have same problems with the English and the mother language. When I uh, listen TV, uh, when I listen TV, also is uh, uh, I have problems if uh, speaker not uh, uh, if if with some speakers and with some actors. I have also problem, and uh, if there is a noisy, uh, I, I have problem. That I have same problems with Croatian, with mother language, and same equal problems with English. What I hear, I understand. What I don't hear, I don't understand. With that device, I hear all. They have some problems. Uh, with uh, their uh, other apparatus devices and uh, next time I play in uh, experiment they, they uh, borrow that uh, uh, device uh, that you use some days and in that uh, longer experiment uh, in all, all situations I can make uh, a bigger review. But uh, this, what I see, it is something uh, excellent. No problem with that device. There is no problem with, with hearing 
for me in the future. Uh, now I will be like this. Uh, it is the first time today. Second, I want to read some part, uh, uh, some part of the books, uh, uh, the Renaissance Society, uh, the Renaissance Society by Rolf uh, Jensen, authors and uh, Mika Altonen. I want to read uh, some parts what I mark in books uh, uh, The Renaissance Society. How to shift from dream society to the age of individual control will change the way you do business. As mentioned earlier, our aim is to inspire the reader to get her as excited about the future as we are. We wish to put a spotlight on the path into the future. Reading this may be fun, but an assessment of the future business environment is the raw material, the starting point for any discussion of visions and strategy. This applies to both private and public companies, and it is vital, 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 vital in our own lives. Remember, the future is where you will spend the rest of your life. S introduction. Setting the scene. All successful visions and strategies around base are based on a solid assessment of how markets will develop both in the near term and in the long term. No strategy is better than your idea of the business environment. The book provides an overview of markets and opportunities both in the United States and globally. The trends presented here I intended as an inspiration for your vision and strategies. We strongly, strongly believe that any important change or innovation in your company must begin with the future. What it look like? The answer is the starting point for the strategy processes. Process, process because the future is an eternal source of inspiration, especially in times of crisis and big changes. Setting the sand has not distilled all the trends discussed in the book, but focuses on those that are of special relevance to American companies and institutions. We are trying to address the crucial, crucial, crucial question. If you want to welcome the future as a good friend and not as an enemy, what should you, your company or organization do now? We have summarized the trends in 12 brief points. The extended now. In static world, there is no need to study the future. It will be the same as today. The need to study the future increases as the world becomes more dynamic, with more and more agents of change shaping the market. The future will not be like the present. The best way to discover change is to use the principle principle of the extended now. Consider the present to be the next 10 to 15 years. This is the opposite of the current thinking in the West, in particular in politics and business in the United States. Short-termism rules, not in all companies, but in uh, most, that 
prevents a proper study of the future. A perspective is needed. If you are concerned only with the next quarter, you are lose sight of important trends. The extended now provides the perspective. It makes you stand back and discover the strand that are invisible in the short term. Successful Asian companies base their investments and strategy on the extended now. Fashions in management are always based on what works. And this works for most Chinese companies. Will Western companies find inspiration from Asia, from short-termism term, to the extended present is a fundamental, fundamental change in the logic of politics and in business. It may take time, but if you start now, a world of opportunities and idea, idea, ideas for your company will emerge. The West is between dreams. The West, the United States and the other mature, mature economies is in crisis and GDP growth has been low for many years. It is a book write it in uh, 206, I think, or 210, by 210, I think. By contrast, is growing, uh, by contrast, is growing fast, actually twice as fast or more. The East, the emerging economies, by contrast, is growing fast, actually twice as fast or more. Will this situation continue for years to come? The East is pursuing a material dream, a material, ma material dream. Cars, travel, fashion, house. The ordinary people are working hard to fulfill their dream and they are doing so in harmony with their governments. For example, nearly 90% of Chinese say that they trust their government. After the cards, the kids, in which ideologies were put ahead of economic growth. This is not surprising. Enthusiasm has been unleashed with remarkable results. In most Western countries, the material dream has been fulfilled for a lot, a lot of people. Their dream has faded. Remember, economic growth is created not by governments, but by people by you and me. According to Gallup, in the United States, many people are dissatisfied with the country's direction. Only 40% are satisfied now. In 1965, the percentage was 80%. In addition, 55% of Americans think it is unlikely that young people will have a better life than their parents. The West is between dreams, between the material dream and whatever the next one will be. High growth rates in the mature economy are a possibility, but only if people in these economies discover a new dream. This must be dream that inspires the majority, just as the material dream did in the 1950, 1950s and earlier when it was strong in the United States. What kind of dream will this be? One possibility is a second renaissance, a setting free of ideas and innovation, just as the first renaissance in Europe 600 years ago set ordinary people free from the iron grip of authorities. They could act on their own, and they did, in science, arts, and exploring the globe. A new renaissance will not stem from some ideology, but from individual people who will inspire the many. Will this be a revolution? No, 
But Renaissance in Europe, 600 years ago, set ordinary people free from the iron grip of authorities. They could act on their own. Sorry? No. But it will be about bypassing the establish established authorities. It will produce a flatter society with less belief in authority. Renaissance means to be reborn, to renew. Uh, the Third Industrial Revolution. The First Industrial Revolution happened in the United Kingdom. It involved factories powered by steam or water. The Second Industrial Revolution happened in the United States. It involved the assembly line. The Third Industrial Revolution will happen during the next 10 years. It will be based on nanotechnology and the 3, 3D printer, which prints in three dimensions. The three 3D printer produces one-of-a-kind products or a limited number of copies. It is perfectly suited to the era, era of individualization. The one-person factory with few printers will open up possibilities for a lot of young entrepreneurs. They can produce works of art but also bicycles or even helicopters. This third industrial revolution may prove to be the most important of the three. Many people will leave their factory jobs and start their own businesses. You will discover this trend if your horizon is the extended now, extended now. If you study only the short term, you will discover only centralization and automation.